Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. When you're working with a responsive layout in Photoshop, I use the term column grid and guides a lot interchangeably because the overall term is called a grid, but really when you're looking at them, they're just columns. And to define those columns in Photoshop, we use guides. Confusing? Yes, kind of. All right, so to have a look at the finished version of this one, you can see here these little blue lines, okay, these light blue lines are guides, and they make they help me make up my columns in my responsive layout. So if I go back to my um, empty document, how to make a guide, okay, how to make your own guides, go to view, and you've got to make sure something called the rulers is turned on. And what you'll notice is on the sides here, the top and the bottom, that these little rulers have appeared. And what we can do is anywhere in this area here, we can click, hold, drag, 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 drag. That will dump a guide on our layout. We drop ones from the top as well. Okay. And what will happen is when you're working with the downloaded template that I've given you, is that you might need to move them or turn them off or lock them. So let's look at that. By default, your template's probably locked. Okay, the guides on your template is probably locked. That's because I didn't want you to go and wreck the guides. But if you want to move them around or lock them or unlock them, go to view, go down to lock guides. And what that means is that I won't be able to move these. I won't be able to move them, watch. They're kind of all stuck there, okay? If I want to unlock them, I untick this, and then the cursor changes a little bit and I can move them around afterwards. Say there's a guide that I don't need anymore. What you can do is you can select it and to delete it, you click, hold and drag it and you just drag it back into the ruler where you got it and it disappears forever. Okay, I'm gonna delete that one, go back over there. When you are working though, you'll notice on say this one here, those guides can be quite distracting. Helpful when you're first laying out, but quite distracting later on. So what you can do is turn them on and off. So go to view, and there's one under show and it's this one here called guides. Now you see the shortcut here, it's command and semicolon or control semicolon on a PC. I use that in quite a bit. Okay, so when I'm working, I'm hitting command semicolon on and off to turn them on and off while I'm working because it's a lot easier to see and kind of get a bit of a visual going without the guides. But structurally, the guides are quite helpful. This is Ricky on how to create, modify, delete guides. Now, I love to share, so I made a few of these videos free. Of course though, I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe and hi to our good YouTube people. Now I'm saluting and waving, but you can't see that, can you?